everybody so we've just been in the garden gathering our leaves for this week's project um, so if you fancy it you can head out into your gardens and gather some leaves for us to do some leaf printing with to create our little caterpillar on our little leaf if you don't want to do that that's absolutely fine you can just go ahead and paint away as you would do normally with your paintbrush um, but we just think this is something a little bit fun and something a little bit different to try out so the first thing that we're going to do for this week's project is we're going to paint or stamp on our little leaf shapes onto our backing leaf here. Um, so you can see we've got everything else at the ready here. We're just going to need some green paint or you could do some different colours if you fancy and do a really bright like rainbow leaf. Um, a rainbow leaf would be pretty cool. Um, and then we've got our glue and our googly eyes. So just to get started I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to paint my first leaf and just a little tip if you're going to do the leaf printing it looks really cool if you actually paint the back of the leaf um, so you tend to get kind of more of the um, like veins of the leaf kind of come out when you print it down if you turn it over and actually use the back so I'm just kind of covering the back of my leaf here like so and then what I'm going to do once I'm satisfied that that has got quite a bit of paint on it I am just going to lay it down on my leaf and I'm going to stamp that down like a little design on there. I'm just going to make sure that I've pressed all the different bits down and then when we lift it up we've got that really cool kind of like leaf printing shape. So I'm going to do the same with my other leaves just until I'm kind of happy with like the little pattern or design I've got in there. So just flip them over, paint the back. And the, the nice thing is with this one is you can get really cool like different effects by choosing kind of different leaves. Okay. And then I'm going to take this one. This one's a poppy leaf from my garden. And I'm just going to paint the back of this. And obviously if you don't have a garden you could maybe head out on a walk. And gather some leaves on a walk as well. And you don't have to paint the whole leaf, so this is quite a big leaf, so I'm probably just going to paint this top part and use that to stamp on there. So there we go, um, I've finished doing my stamping now. So like I say, I've just done mine in green, but you could experiment with some different colours. So you could do yours with yellows or reds or really have a play at kind of experimenting and kind of making maybe a bit of a rainbow leaf. Um, so I'm going to get started next just adding on my little worm or my little caterpillar. Um, but before I do so, um, I'm just going to pop my um, cord in. So I've made a little hole just at the top of my leaf here. And this is just going to be so that we can hang up our leaf once it's all decorated. So I'm just going to pop that through and tie a little knot at the top here. Um, we've also designed this as, um, so it can just be like a lovely little spring craft or you can add a little message onto your card and you can pop a little message on the back if you want to send it like a little love bug um, to somebody for Mother's Day if you want to. But obviously you can just design it just as a nice... Um, little springtime decoration. So I'm going to add the eyes onto my first little caterpillar. So to add my eyes on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the eye upside down and I'm going to also turn up my paintbrush up the upside down way as well. So I'm going to take the wrong end and I'm going to dip that into the glue and then I'm going to dot that just on the back here of my eye and then I can stick that one on my little oh, love box head just there okay so the glue might take a couple of minutes to dry so just kind of be conscious of that whilst you're kind of doing your crafting and sticking um, that it will need a little bit of time just to dry off so again wrong end of my paintbrush and we're just going to stick that one down just there 
lovely right so I'm then going to pop some glue just along where I want my caterpillar to sit on my leaf um, so I think I'm going to do mine in this kind of like little spot just here where I haven't got any of my leaf prints Mine's going to be just there. And then I'm going to pop these three on top. Like so. And then I'm just going to be careful with my head because that glue is probably not quite dry yet. Just going to pop that one on there. There we go. So that's how he's looking. Um, so you can add on here with a felt tip pen or a pencil. Um, we've put a little message on your how to cards just saying you're unbelievable. Um, so you can add that on there if you want to. I'm not going to with this one. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some sequins and I'm going to um, stick some sparkly sequins on there. I love is like a summer's day, hot and endless in a magic way. Whenever I see you, all I can think is my summer love. Been waiting for you, my love. My summer love. Been waiting for you, my love. I can't forget the day we met. You look so fly in your red corvette. Your hair, your look, your everything. When I see it all, I knew that you were mine. I'm in love with your hair, your lips, your silhouette in the moonlight shine. With my love, you won't ever be alone, my son. So there we go, there is my lovely little love bug caterpillar sat on my little leaf. Um, we hope you guys have really enjoyed this week's project, um, thanks so much for joining us. Um, we've still got some packs left so if you want to order your pack you can do through our website. Um, we hope that anybody that's receiving these as um, little Mother's Day gifts or cards really enjoys them too. Thank you so much guys, bye!